In our previous episode, we made our way from Stewart to Palm Beach through the ICW and all of its bascule bridges and leave Florida to make our way across the Gulf Stream and into the little Bahama banks of the Abacos. Give me in my boxers? Yep. Oh, you're kind of like back there right now. Am I? Okay, good. We haven't ran our flag halyard yet. So, <laughs> this is what they get. <laughs> So once again, our sailing plans aren't quite working out as we hoped. The wind has pretty much all but died for us today and it's coming behind. So we do have the mainsail up while we're motoring and we're hoping to get the 40 miles, 42 miles I think it is, from the entrance of the Little Bahama Bank at Memory Rock and going to Sail Key, which is a popular anchorage and you can stay there even if you're not checked in yet. And then we're gonna keep working our way west probably to Green Turtle, um, but I guess we just underestimated how long it was going to take us to get there. So tonight we will be anchoring in the banks, which is about uh, 15 feet of water. And the good thing is because there were no winds to get us to a harbor at Great Sail Key, we can anchor out here in the middle of nowhere and it's shallow and it's calm. And then we'll see what we want to do tomorrow. Maybe we will end up um, dropping anchor up at Great Sail Key and just hanging out and relaxing, or we might get up with the sun and try and get ourselves closer to Green Turtle where we can check in. So um, unfortunately a lot of motoring, a lot more than we wanted at this trip, but right now we're just kind of trying to position ourselves in the best place we can. Having anchored just a few miles from Great Sail Key, we made the decision to rise with the sun and put on as many miles as we could. When we woke in the morning, we were greeted with glass calm seas and a pastel horizon where you couldn't tell where the sky and the water met. It seemed like a perfect time to launch the drone and take a look at these crystal clear waters surrounding us. After a few minutes we spotted a disturbance in the water, curious dolphins coming to check us out. As they grew closer to the boat I would try and catch them on video as they would crest out of the water only to have them disappear below as soon as I'd turn in their direction. Kind of like a game of whack-a-mole, except with a camera instead of a mallet. Luckily, we still had our drone out, and with a much wider field of view, we could fully take in the show surrounding our boat. And in all the excitement of the dolphins, just dropped her glasses in the water. Okay, so snorkel gear is in the starboard lens it? Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Anchor. Where it's supposed to be. Glasses. Where they're not supposed to be. <laughs> dolphins being awesome. As per usual. As per usual. I see your butt. I see your butt. It's over. Big deep breath. Do you see him? Yep. Okay. Gotta get ready to go down and get him. I don't think you're over him though. Fuck, I just lost him. So I should be using a snorkel. Oh yeah, you gotta go further this way. See how helpful I'm being? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can hold my breath long enough for that. <sighs> oh, 
right over over. Success. <sighs> Stay in the water for a minute. You might actually have encounter. Really? Yeah. They're coming right over for you. Once my glasses were recovered, we raised the anchor to begin making our way to the central Abacos, where there were many more groups of islands close together and we could put ourselves closer to a port of entry. The water was incredibly calm and was a perfect reflection of the sky. It was hard to tell where one ended and the other began. One more curious dolphin joined us for part of the ride, giving us the best views of these graceful mammals we'd ever had in our lives. Once it had left, there was nothing to do but sit back and relax and wait for land to come into view. Nope. Still got three quarters of a mile. to our first proper anchorage in the Bahamas, and I would have to say it is a pretty good one. We're at Powell Key, which is on the northeast side of the central Abacos, and they say that this bluff here is the highest point on the island, so I may have to go hike that tomorrow. Plus, our guidebook says that there are some really nice beaches along the south side here, which may need exploring, and then on the opposite side is the Atlantic Ocean and lots of reefs. So I can absolutely see us spending a few days here and enjoying our first anchorage in the Bahamas. I think we're gonna have to walk all the way actually around. I think we might too. Hmm, wonder if we should go back to the dinghy and dinghy to the end of the island? Or do you want to go to there? The and north see beach. the North Beach. What do you feel like doing? North Beach. Okay, let's do that. Did <laughs> <laughs> so you get the yeah, elements in the background? The elements chilling in the background. Yeah, we'll just put up up there and then uh, walk around. I don't know how much fuel I have. We haven't used this engine in a long time and I forgot how much it uses. We reach. About to take the drone out for an aerial view of the island. And we had to use my dress as uh, it's sand free takeoff spot. Just won't let me do it by hand. I didn't say you couldn't. Uh-huh. I just said that was an option. I was gonna show everyone how cool I was. <laughs> brave. So not just handsome, handsome and brave.
We hadn't known much about Powell Key, and one of the only reasons we had chosen it was our guidebook showed an aerial view that looked absolutely stunning. Getting the drone up, we were able to see that this was an incredibly beautiful island from tip to tip, which left us a bit bummed that we wouldn't be able to stay as long as we would have liked and fully explored. We did have a full afternoon ahead of us though, so we continued to hunt down a trail to take us to the other side. I think we have found a clue how to get to the other side. Pretty good one if you ask me. Time to follow the trail into the woods. Not something I'd ever thought I'd hear myself say in the Bahamas. Kind of strange being surrounded by big pine trees here. Yeah, it's so weird actually having trees. Yeah, we're used to being down in the Exumas and Raggeds and Long Island where it's just low-lying brush and shrubs, so this is a totally new experience for us. Yeah, it's very, very pretty up here. I'm glad we decided to get to the Abacos. So far, they're worth it. We're about to head into some dense jungle here. It's crazy, I feel like I should be in Panama or something. <laughs> Bushwhacking. Oh, this is dense. So I wonder if there's a plantation or something on this island. I don't know. I'm just hoping there's uh, no big spiders. I don't think there are. Good. I don't feel like playing with any this time. Nor do I think there's really big snakes either. Yeah. Those don't really bother me. It's like a canopy, it's so cool. Looks nothing like Lord of the Rings. Well, there's slight differences here and there, but. I can see more Tomb Raider. That's true, okay, I feel very Laura Croft right now. Yeah. Got some weird little bridge here. Over the stinky swamp. Over the stinky swamp. Let's hope I can make it too. I think we made it to the other side, I can hear the waves. Ooh, that is pretty. Very pretty. Oh, that, oh, that water is water. gorgeous. Oh, that water is beautiful. Definitely not the Bahamas we're used to, but it is very pretty. Yeah, this is one of those islands I can see putting a little uh, house on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, we found out Georgie is willing to tolerate dinghy rides now if it means she can come to shore and eat grass. Yeah. So this <laughs> is our Christmas present to her, is being able to come ashore and eat grass. Jessica's Christmas present is cleaning up puke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you find there, Georgie girl? 
Hmm. You're happy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you miss rolling in the sand, don't you? It looks as if we have discovered the cruiser's hangout here. Popular sundowner spot, although I hope no one is starting fires in this area because of all the flammable needles and brush. Oh, and good climbing trees. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to at least see all this washed up garbage going to use here. People turn it into benches. In interior, ex exterior decorating, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Ooh. And there's also a light that's, that's not It's in a, like, some kind of, oh no, it's just a, uh, one of those hand lights. Huh. Oh. And we've got elements of life sitting in a pretty bay there. I would say the perfect ending to a nice couple of days of exploring here. Join us in our next episode where we try silk swinging on our new friend's boat. Have a pretty crappy sail from Powell Key down to Green Turtle Key. And finally get ourselves checked into the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs>